This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, they always claiming they don't have resources to do investigations. They always claim that what's going on in the AMC GME play, there's not enough money for them to investigate this type of fraud. But somehow they found all these resources to go to the Dominican Republic and pick up 13 people who were allegedly involved in a grandparent scam. And, and this is a simple scam. They, they would call people randomly, act like they're a family member who's in trouble. And then once they did that, they would send a courier in the States to go to the, the grandparent's house or the family member's house and pick up the money from the scam. And they allegedly were scamming millions of dollars from unsuspected patsies. Now, should this have been investigated? Of course. Of course, who wants to see their grandmother robbed and taken advantage of? But here's the thing. They're saying these guys maybe made a few million. That's what they're alleging. But look at the fraud and corruption in AMC and GME over the last 36 months. And they can't find any resources, any resources to do that type of investigation. And that investigation is losses to retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules into the trillions of dollars. And they had a joint task force on this investigation. They had Homeland Security. They had the Justice Department. They had FBI. They had the U.S. Attorney. They had Social Security. They had the Inspector General. They had NYPD. I mean, it's absolutely crazy how efficient our law enforcement agencies can get when they really want to do an investigation. They found resources to do investigations in separate countries, went overseas and picked them up and brought them back to America to face justice. But somehow, somehow, they're unable to do a simple, easy investigation into the fraud and corruption, into the AMC play, where all they really have to do is just look at the blue sheets, look at the trading history, look at the chain of custody of the shears. It's something very, very simple and not expensive. They don't have money to investigate the trillions of dollars in fraud in the AMC and GME play over the last 36 months. But somehow... They found resources and other law enforcement agencies were able to work together to run to the Dominican Republic and arrest people who were scamming grandmothers. You know what this tells me? They don't care that these bad actors, these AMC RICO conspirators, these GME RICO conspirators, are robbing retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. The bad actors own the SEC, they own the DOJ, they own the FBI. Because as you can see from this investigation, when they want to come after you, they find the resources, they work together, they create joint task force, and they go after the criminals. They just, well, I believe, just my opinion, they've been ordered not to go after the criminals, robbing retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. Now, if they rob another one percenter, that joint task force will be after them. They're just not allowed. They're just not allowed to rob the rich. They are free to rob the 99%. 
Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think this joint task force would have been better served going after the bad actors robbing and stealing from retail investors for the last 36 months in the AMC and GME play? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.